Jason Residlo reporting for AmericaJR.com, being joined by new country duo Burns and Poe. How are you guys today? Doing well, Jason. How about yourself? Very good. Okay. So, uh, please tell me about how you guys got started in the music business. The way I got into the music business was I was an athlete. I broke my ankle playing football in high school, picked up the guitar, and uh, started playing music. And uh, I knew right then, at the age of 14, that that's what I wanted to do the rest of my life. Uh, and, Michelle, how about you? Well, I grew up in a family band since I was eight years old, singing professionally. So that's kind of how I got started. And then Keith and I met uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, about almost three years ago now. Okay, very cool. Now, for uh, both of you, who were some of your uh, musical influences uh, growing up? Hmm. Um, mine was probably Dolly Parton and Emma Lou Harris and some Linda Ronstadt, Ellie Bobber Mandrell, <laughs> um, Steve Warner. Those are some of mine. For me growing up, it was um, Jason, it was Elvis, Neil Diamond. Uh, early, and then I moved on to Waylon Jennings in Alabama, and Tom Petty, Almond Brothers. You know, being from Georgia, if you didn't like the Almond Brothers, they took you out back and hung you. <laughs> okay. Now, how does it feel for you guys to be compared to the uh, new Sonny and Cher of country music? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, they're they're kind of like a variety show, which is kind of similar to what our show is on, on stage. We, we banter back and forth and, you know, kind of tease and poke at each other and the audience gets involved and it's just sort of a fun, um, you know, fun-loving show. We don't take ourselves too seriously and I think that's how Sunny and Cher were, so that's probably how we got dubbed <laughs> the Sunny and Cher of country. You know, we're not quite that, you know, Sonny and Cher, somebody told me the other day, Jason, they said, you're not, you know, well, I read it in a, a review, that, that we're not quite so cheesy as Sonny and Cher, Sonny and Cher <laughs> were, but I love that, and I think the people out there uh, in America, you know, and they don't get enough of that, you know, they, they, they hear a lot of, you know, a lot of music that just goes out there and they're just singing, and they're singing at the people, not to the people and for the people, you know, so I, I think, you know, Michelle and I, just like to have, we just like to have fun, and hopefully, you know, we're not, you know, we're, the crowd will come along with us and, and have a ride with us, you know, that's, that's kind of the way we look at it. All right. Now, what's and if the... We get compared to, if we get compared to Sonny and Cher, so be it. Okay. Now, what's the story behind the song, Don't Get No Better Than That? Hmm. That was a tune that uh, our, uh, our publisher, I mean, our, uh, uh, what, is, what is he, Michelle? Uh, our producer. producer. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's early. Our producer, um, that's, a, that's a, um, him and myself wrote that song. We just sat down one afternoon and wanted to write something up-tempo and positive and fun and, and about, you know, having a good time in America with your friends and... and you know, when we went in and shot the video for that, um, we went up to Fort Campbell in Kentucky and shot some, some footage up there with the with the soldiers and, and uh, just kind of turned it into a, a dedication to the men and the women of our armed services. I mean, it was just, it's just a fun song, you know. I, I kind of rap the verses and, and kind of talk them and, and then we sing a big, you know, kind of hooky chorus, so uh, don't get no better than that. Okay. Could you give me some highlights of your uh, self-titled debut album? Um, some highlights? Well, it's a double CD. Um, in the times where people are just releasing like six songs, we just wanted to give everybody their money's worth. And the first uh, CD, the first disc is Keith and, and myself sort of by ourselves out front. And then the second disc is... is disc two and it's all duets so and then we have an acoustic um, medley that we did live in a bar uh, of three songs that we do during our show 
so there's about 16 songs or 17 songs total on the on the double disc CD, and it's uh, we're really proud of it. Oh wow, that's a lot. Okay, um, what was it like winning the Independent Artist of the Year award? Well, it was fantastic. You know, it's our first. Uh, it kind of gives a little validity to what we been working for the last couple of years and, and uh, you know it, it's our first award so I mean we were very proud of it, it it's um, it's totally based on radio plays and it's not a popularity contest so we were the number one played act on radio in the year 2010 and it's a huge offer for us because uh, I don't know if you realize but, but you know uh, country music, you gotta live and breathe by radio, you know, I mean, you're, there's the amount of spins you get on the radio, uh, so we were very honored, and we were very proud, and uh, they only gave us one, one plaque, though, so we're a little upset about that. Michelle and I keep having a fight over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Copyright 2011, AmericaJR.com, Detroit, Michigan, USA.